Different issue now. The Western Cape continues to feel the pressures of the worst drought to hit that province in a century. Reports suggest that job losses are looming. Uh, there's been talk of day zero, a time when the water could run out completely. I don't think the water crisis is real. I do believe that it is media propaganda. So why exactly do you think it's not real? I don't think it's real because it's been raining a lot. We've had three years from 2015 through to 2016, 2017 of way below normal rainfall. How on earth does the government not have the means of funds to turn this ocean water into drinking water if Congo is already doing it? So what the city are trying to do in the meantime, aside from putting in very, very strict demand management measures, so ways of reducing the demand, the water demand within the city, they're also putting in place uh, other supply systems, things like groundwater through borehole drilling into the Table Mountain Groove Aquifer, the Cape Flats Aquifer and Atlantis, uh, things like desalination programs. I mean, honestly, I don't know what they gain because I'm not a corrupt member of the government, but I do know that the government is always against the people. That much I know. There's no way that this is a publicity stunt. This is a real crisis. We are in a situation where if people don't do what they're supposed to do, we will run out of water and there will be very severe implications. If Cape Town were to run out of water, I would go back to my hometown, which is Johannesburg. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This seems simple. Fetch water from. <laughs> Yo, you, you must have been up. Fetch water from up the road. So hot, bruh. Cold. Hi. Mm -mm. Yo, hi. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't even think I've ever washed my teeth with like a glass of water in my life. I've never done this. Cool. Stop pouring. We have to say. Pour. Stop. Stop. Yo, the water is finishing. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Shh. The water is done, guys. And is the toilet flushed? Kind of. The toilet is kind of flushed and the water is gone. Oh, so, what are you going to do now? Um, hmm. What to do? What to do? For 5,000 Rand in December, <laughs> what to do? A lot can be done. Let's go, guys. Oh, shit, I can't leave my toilet paper. There's savages in this house. Let's go. Well, I have this one housemate who always leaves her room open. I don't know why she does it, but she does it. And thank goodness she does do it because I'm about to get 5,000 Rand for her bad habits. And she always has water, like, all the time. Woo! Yes. Told you. Told you. Open. Wide open. Like, everything is here. All her stuff. So I'm now going to go make some noodles and drink a glass of water and a cup of coffee and then get my paycheck from your producers. Holla! Ha! <sighs> yes. You actually completed the challenge. Woohoo! But because you went and took your roommate's water, unfortunately you can't win the cash prize. Ah, uh, um, I see. So how do you feel about this experiment? Do you think it has changed your views on saving water in any way? Um, a little. Yeah, it has. Just a little, not a lot. Um, I do realize that water actually goes quicker than we think it does. Mm.